Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to work with a numbers field. I've added a IT tickets list here and add some example data to it. And I also have the hours worked on each of these tickets. So now, of course, I want to summarize and analyze and calculate on based on those numbers. I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing that. The first and simplest one is to, simple, to, is to modify the view and add a totals field there and that's under totals here at the bottom and then you can take each of the fields and do a count on most fields but the one I want uh, is of course a numbers field so there I can do count, average, maximum, those kind of things. Usually you want the sum, the number of hours worked so let's just put that in there and as you see you have 4391. Now if I see uh, only the tasks assigned to Martin here you'll notice that this updates just as you would expect from uh, Excel or Access or any other tool like that so that works just brilliantly however if you want a more elaborate analysis of this um, list data then I really recommend using Excel for that because there are some analysis features in SharePoint but SharePoint is really not built for analysis Excel is so what I would recommend doing is exporting this list to Excel. Sometimes you get this warning even though you do have Excel. And here you go. What's happening now is that I get a, an external table or an Excel, external data source in Excel um, that's displayed as a table. You get all the columns that were visible in your view. But you also get these item type and item path, and usually you don't want those. So I'm going to start by hiding those columns. Notice that you, it looks as if though you can change things here. You can just you not know, do things there. But what actually happens is if I if I refresh this, you will notice that it gets written back. So the data owner is SharePoint here, not Excel. So you can only read information from SharePoint not updated. So of course now to do a summary which is of course what Excel is really good at you can use all of the Excel features based on this list so for example you could select the entire hours worked list here or the column like that and you could do some quick analysis on it here like data bars or something like that and uh, let's just do data bars, they are really cool I think. And there you get it much more visually appealing and uh, thought provoking you know which items are taking a long long time. And as usual these data bars are based on the entire set and again these values change with the, the SharePoint so if you, I, I up this now, let's see I increase this to um, thousand uh, um, hours which is of course more than any of the other values there you go. Now if I go back to Excel here and update that, I'm going to um, refresh this using the, there we go, I need to stand in the table of course, I need to have the selected cell in the table. I go into the design here and refresh. You'll notice that it does analyze the entire bar. That's a simple way of using the visualization in Excel. I'm going to change that back now, back to 72 where it was. The next thing you probably want to do is, of course, to create a spreadsheet, but that I will do in my next demo. Thank you for watching this demonstration.